There has been a lot of talk recently about how Ubuntu is not as exciting as it once was, and that it's kind of on the decline. And I think that there is definitely some merit to this argument. Ubuntu's not innovating like it once was. It's definitely not on the forefront of Linux technology in any means. They don't create basically anything that they do that is user-facing. There's a lot of underlying technology that they have contributed to and they do contribute to, and they definitely create a lot of stuff in the back end that kind of floats upstream into GNOME and all sorts of different Linux projects. But in terms of things that you actually see on a day-to-day -day basis, it's definitely not like it once was when they were creating things like Unity and Mare and working on the Ubuntu mobile and stuff like that. It's just not as exciting as it was during those times. And there has been a lot of comparison between Ubuntu now and what Fedora has become, where Fedora is on the forefront of a whole bunch of brand new technologies that is not only being injected into Fedora, but also spreading throughout almost every Linux distribution, things like Wayland and Pipewire and so on and so forth. And that comparison is not necessarily favorable towards Ubuntu because when you look at something that is new and exciting next to something that is, I'm not going to say old, but necessarily mature, they don't necessarily compare all that well, especially for the people who are interested in that type of comparison. And, and that usually means Linux enthusiasts. We Linux enthusiasts really tend to enjoy more the distributions that are exciting, that come out with new features, that are more community-centric, if you will. And that definitely describes Fedora much more than it does Ubuntu. Now, all this stuff sounds like I'm coming out and saying Ubuntu's bad, Ubuntu's terrible, Ubuntu's old. That's definitely not what I'm saying. The point of this video that I'm making today is that I don't actually think that Ubuntu being unexciting is actually a bad thing. Now, for us Linux enthusiasts, it is kind of a bad thing because by them not actually creating new things that are user-facing and having so many missteps when it comes to snaps and all those things, it makes it harder for us to be interested or really care about Ubuntu. So when I do a Ubuntu based like first look or distro review or something like that It's harder for me to care about it because it feels like it's not a great distro. It's just what Ubuntu has always been like it's like Apple has released an iPhone for 20 years and they all look exactly the same Ubuntu for the most part looks exactly the same now as it did 10 years ago. The icons have changed and the themes have changed, but for the most part, the layout looks exactly the same, right? And the only thing that has really changed from then and now is that they've changed from Unity to GNOME, but they've just made GNOME look like Unity, but has fewer features because you don't have the HUD and all that stuff. But the point is, is that Ubuntu hasn't changed very much. And for Linux enthusiasts, that's not what we're interested in. We're not interested in things that always stay the same over and over and over again for so long. Now, the th point I'm trying to make, though, is that there aren't very many Linux enthusiasts. Like, for the most part, of the wider Linux community, the Linux enthusiast is a very small niche. Everybody else who uses Linux just uses their computer that happens to have Linux on it. They don't care about new shiny things like Wayland, Pipewire, uh, UI design improvements and stuff like that. All they care about is getting their work done and using their computer and making sure that their computer doesn't crash and do the things that drove them crazy probably when they use Windows. For the vast majority of people that use Linux, they only care so much about what their computer looks like, how it functions. They just want it to work is the point. And one thing we can't forget is that despite Ubuntu declining, it is still by far the most used distribution period, like by orders of magnitude. Now, I don't have, you know, exact numbers, and I don't think anybody besides Canonical really knows exactly how many people use Ubuntu, if Canonical even knows. But 
we know from the numbers that we do have, things like the Steam survey and so on and so forth, is that the vast majority of people use Ubuntu or an Ubuntu derivative, mostly of flavors. And the vast majority of those people who do use Ubuntu, they don't care that Ubuntu is boring. They just want it to work. Now, like I said earlier, that conclusion isn't necessarily the most exciting for the Linux enthusiasts. And that's one of the reasons why we keep hearing this whole idea of Ubuntu is boring, Ubuntu is declining, Fedora is the new Ubuntu. And the reason why we keep hearing those things from what feels like a lot of people is that Linux enthusiasts are more likely to speak out and make noise about things that are upsetting them. So they get on YouTube and make YouTube videos. They get on Twitter or Discord or IRC or whatever and start talking about this stuff. They talk about it on podcasts that they're, ha that they're members of. And those are the people we hear, right? The vast majority of people aren't on a podcast. They don't make YouTube videos about Linux. They just use their computer and go about their day. So I don't think that Ubuntu being boring is actually a bad thing. I think that Linux needs a distribution that is mature and stable and doesn't change at all. It needs something that is always going to be the same. And is that boring? Sure. But you want to know what? It's Definitely something that makes it easier to switch to Linux because it looks the same always. It functions the same always. If it changed every two or three releases, it'd make it so much harder to not only switch to Linux, but also for people who help others switch to Linux to create documentation for any of this stuff. One of the things that's great about Ubuntu is that when you switch to it as a brand new Linux user, there's just a ton of stuff out there that can help you. And because Ubuntu doesn't change hardly ever, those guides that were created five, six, seven, ten years ago, a lot of that stuff still applies. Now, obviously, when it comes to downloading software, uh, a lot of that stuff has changed, and you really don't want to download a PPA that has been not maintained so that kind of stuff kind of gets iffy in terms of it doesn't age well but when it comes to how to do certain things like how to update ubuntu that hasn't changed in forever okay and if there was a guide that was written on how to update ubuntu back in 2012 or something like that you could still follow that guide and be on your way it would work perfectly fine now there are obviously new things that have come up since then, things like how to update snaps, how to install snaps. But the point is, is that most of the guides that are on the internet uh, would probably work at least to some extent, right? And if they change all the time, like Linux enthusiasts probably would want them to do, if they want them to innovate and create new features and all this stuff, those guides would then become obsolete and there'd be much less documentation on the internet for new users. And... New users need documentation, so it's okay for Ubuntu to be boring. It is actually a good thing, I think. Now, that being said, I'm not going to use Ubuntu, right? I like new and exciting things, and that's one of the reasons why I run an Arch-based distro, because I want the newest, shiniest stuff. And it gets me in trouble a lot, because sometimes things break. Pipewire kicks me in the ass a lot, because it gets updated to the newest version, and there might be bugs, and that happen to work with my heart, not work with my hardware or whatever, and think just go wrong there. Other packages sometimes just break because they're the newest things, and I'm kind of the guinea pig. Happens the same thing for people who use Fedora. Stuff breaks sometimes because it's the newest and greatest stuff. It doesn't happen that often on Ubuntu, and that's why other people can use Ubuntu, whereas, you know, I prefer the newer, shiny, shinier stuff. I'm a Linux enthusiast, and I think that's where a lot of people fall, but the vast majority of people just want something that is boring. And they don't care that it's boring. It works for them. So, that is it for this video. If you have comments on Ubuntu and it being boring, you can leave it in the comment section below. One of the things that I did not talk about is the downsides of some of the stuff that Canonical and Ubuntu have done. Things like the snaps and stuff. I've kind of beat the snap horse to death in terms of, you know, talking about it and my opinion on it. And I don't think I really need to talk about it anymore. But 
If you'd like to see more videos on me bitching about snaps, you could probably uh, leave a comment in the comment section below about that as well. You can follow me on Twitter, at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. I'd like to thank my current patrons, Robert, Sid, Devon, Patrick, Fred, Kramer, Meglin, Jackson, Ivan, Tools, Steve A, Cyberga Linux, Garrick, Samuel, KB, TGB, Mitchell, j Dog, Carbon Data, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, Martin, Eve, Andy, Ross, Eduardo, Merrick, Camp, Joshua, League, Peter, A, Crucible, Dark Venice 6, Primus, and PM. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.